Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular course. So in the previous video, we have seen about the services, right? About the introduction of the services. And also we have created the service, right? We have created an instance for the service. Here where we can, where I can say. Yeah, in this one, I think I, no, no, not in this one. In the users component. Is, yeah, we have created the instance of the new instance of this service and we have locked console. Okay, so I told you that it is not the correct process uh, uh, for, for instantiating the service here and using like this is not the correct process. In Angular, we have a, a separate process, I told you, right? That is nothing but the dependency injection. Okay, so through dependency injection, we need to uh, do the service thing. So what is a dependency injection? Dependency injection is nothing but injecting the dependencies, whatever the dependencies needed for your class, injecting those dependencies into your class is nothing but the dependency injection. So dependency injector will take care of those dependency injection. So injecting classes. So here, this is a class. Okay, remember that this, uh, uh, although it is a component, this is a class, it's a class. So this class is dependent on this logging service. So it needs a logging service instance for this one, for this class to log to console, to use this log to console. That means it needs an instance of this logging instance of this login service. So we need to uh, inject that logging service. We need to inject that logging service into this user component into this so that we can use this log to console method. So how we can inject that one? So who who will inject this one? So Angular will take care of this one. How will Angular will take care is for example here if you go and if you see here these all HTML HTML you'll be able to see that click thing, uh, uh, ng for, ng if, these are all nothing but what we can say is these are all instances only, these are all instance object methods only. So who, who is, in, who, is in, who is, in, who is, who is injecting these all instances? We are not creating any object for this one, ng for all this, we are not creating any ng, uh, object for this one and we are not using, right? So who is, who is giving these all things? So Angular will be giving these all the things. For example, if you, if you see this app render highlight, so you see this is a simple class only if you see that app render highlight and these are all the directors what we have created these are simple class only that means somehow for class if you want to use that class means you will need to create an object this is the basic funda everywhere you will be finding so who is giving this uh, object so angular will take care of giving this object in the same scenario here also this logging service is a simple class and this object angular should be uh, responsible for giving that object so that we will be using that uh, methods of that object will be so it has to be injected so that means angular should take care of this one why we why angular has to inject means this all comes under the angular ecosystem so if you use this angular if you tell angular to ship these all the things you will be inside the angular and you will be using all the very all the flavors and functionalities of the angular so that is the reason we need to give to angular to inject the, i need this service please provide me this so instance for this service we need to ask the angler angler should be responsible angler should be able to know about this service so that our process will be very smooth okay so what how we can inject this one so how how it will be injected is for using the constructor so here you will be adding a private so that a local variable will be created so i will be creating a class uh, property and we need to we need to tell the type for the property so that that type uh, that type will be injected here into this property so i will be telling that i need it i need a property of this type okay so now we told that this class so whenever this class this class we are using this class we know we are telling that before creating this class and all the things i need this logging service property which is of type this logging service so now angular's responsibility angular responsibility is that it need to get this uh, yeah, or instance of this logging service okay first part is completed so now user component angler will check that okay so here in the constructor he is asking about the logging service so i need to give him the object instance for this logging service okay first first this one we told to angler that i need this login service classes so i told you now that second step is where it will get this angle login service okay i told that i need the login service but angler doesn't know right saying so so I told that I need that login service. So give me that angle logging service I am asking. But Angular doesn't know where from where I need to give this one. Okay. So now we need to tell 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 to the Angular that 
take that logging service from so and so location it is present that logging service to so take that logging service we need to tell to the angler where we can tell that one so here in this component we can add a special decorator something like this uh, property that is nothing but providers so we have a list of providers so take this one logging service so we have a, this one class with the logging service so give me that instance of that logging service we are telling to the angler so here we can mention the providers we have a list of providers in, in my project so uh, take this logging service and give me that instance of the logging service okay we are telling to the angler now two things is completed we told that i need a logging service i told that and i also i told you that where can where can you find this logging service also i told him i told to the angler so both the things i told it i told him i need a logging service and you can find the logging service from this location i told you i told to the angler now langler's responsibility is to provide me that instance of that one now i can directly use this logging service this dot logging service dot log to console okay this is how we need to call the service in the angler so what is the advantage of calling like this means we will see in the later videos one by step by step uh, the advantages of calling the service like this okay now in the same scenario add user is there here we are using the console dot log right in the same scenario you can tell that private logging service so i need a logging service like this i can mention so it will be imported automatically from top so providers i need to mention the providers here the provider will be logging service okay i have a provider logging service and here directly you can use the this dot logging service dot log to console and you can do user is added and you can mention the this dot username also you can mention this one okay this is how we can do now when i try to execute this code so now i will try to execute this code so if i check the output here i let me refresh this code okay now let me add that one code now here we got it user is added and if i click on change username also we got the user is changed highly learning yeah so this is how we will be using the services their dependency injection to inject the service into the angler so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you